Crypto Lights here, but back with another video, guys. We're going to do an update on Splassive and how I'm going to be using my Splassive to build up my drip faucet. Okay, guys. So, right now, we are on my second account, uh, which is almost now at max payout. I showed you the first account, which I had been using along with further deposits to increase um, or to build up my second account into max payout. As you can see, this first account is at max payout. And um, I'm just collecting from this, which I can then airdrop to my other account. But right now, we are probably about two or three compounds away from a max account on my second account. Now, once this reaches 100,000, then we will be at max payout on the second account. And then my plan is to have a third account, which I will airdrop some splash to, and I will just begin to compound that account uh, maybe till it gets to max payout and then what I will do is I can withdraw splash from my other two accounts once I get to that stage and I can begin to build up my drip faucet uh, because at the end of the day drip pays 1% a day and splashive pays 2% a day so the plan is to um, if we just change the network the plan is to get my drip account up now I have been compounding on drip I actually have two drip accounts, one of which is um, bigger than the other, okay? But the plan is to get both of these accounts up to a massive number. This is my smaller drip account. Let's just go to my main drip account. Um, if we just go to my main drip account, uh, that should bring us over, connect. Right, this will be my main drip account. I'm um, just under 20K. Uh, the price of drip is falling was slightly over that um just yesterday but you know um yeah i have been compounding on this account up over three thousand deposits and i want to build this up to around ten thousand deposits by putting uh, you know additional funds into it not just compounding once we get to about ten thousand i can begin to just compound and uh, no longer put up risk capital into it all right guys i'll just compound until maybe we get to max payout on the drip network all right guys the reason i'm moving splash over from splash to uh drip is because at the end of the day um you've got to know what your risk tolerance levels are and you've got to have a plan and stick to it okay i believe that splashive has a future potentially right which is why i'm building up my uh my taps right i've got two almost at max payout and i want to get to a third one um, once I get to the third one, right, and that's got a bit of splash in there and I can begin to compound that up, um, you know, it's about de-risking, all right, guys? So it's also about creating a money train, right? It's about taking money from one source or crypto from one source and moving it into another source. Um, in this case, it's over to Drip Network to build up that account further. Okay, guys. And of course, it's about diversification, getting 2% over here. This is on the Avalanche Network. And um, it's a little bit more riskier than drip, considering the circumstances. It is a fork of drip and so on. But, um, you know, it's just about diversifying, right? Drip is on the Binance Smart Chain. It's been around for longer. I think Splash has been around for, I think we. I think it might be about five, six months. I'm not sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, right? But it's been around a while. But it did have the exploit, which kind of slowed down its progress. Uh, but Splash are developing games and all that sort of stuff so um, i'm looking forward to seeing what's coming i'm looking forward to seeing if the price can begin to start trending to the upside again but drip you know drip has also got things coming in the pipeline the animal farm is going to be relaunching in october uh, this month in about two weeks so that's going to be bullish or potentially going to be bullish for the price of drip so i want to have more exposure to drip uh, during that time and of course you know uh, you know, Drip is very reliable. There's never been an exploit. There's never been any issues with it and so on. And there's going to be a version 2 of Drip or a layer 2 built on top of Drip. So I've been hearing. I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But 4 Shark is, uh, who is the developer of Drip, is looking to improve the whole ecosystem anyway. And then you get the animal farm with the Drip BUSD and all that sort of stuff. I think that's going to make it bullish for the price of Drip. 
So my aim is to, you know, start focusing a little bit more on building up my drip account as well because I haven't really built it up in the way that I would like to. Uh, so yeah, taking crypto or profits over from Splash over onto the drip network, that's going to help me to build up my drip network account quicker along with the compounding, get me to that 10,000 mark. All right, guys, I only need to double the amount of, uh, no, I need to triple the amount that I've got in there. Okay, so I need it another twice more. And I may even take some trading profits and kind of feed them over into Drip as well just to get myself up to that level a little bit faster. Okay, guys, because at the end of the day, I love passive income. Um, Drip's paying out 1% a day. And, you know, if I get that to max payout, for example, and then Drip does a 10x, you know, we're going to see astronomical gains in the faucet. So I think that is definitely a strategy that I want to work with going forwards as well. And of course, still having my exposure to Splassive. Splash, uh, Splassive pays out 2% a day over six months. So, um, you know, I think the aim is that if I can compound up a third account very quickly, I will look to start a fourth account at the end of the day. For me, it's a no-brainer. But ultimately, my focus at the moment is going to be building up my drip faucet as well because you know uh, it is a little bit more expensive it does take a lot more investment to get to a max account um but yeah it's about taking advantage of the price of splash also while it's low because if the price takes off on splash um you know i'm going to be pretty happy that i continue to accumulate right so we'll have to see how it goes in the short to mid term and even in the long term okay but ultimately uh, what I expect is if the markets turn around, I'm going to be sitting pretty. And then there's other passive income plays that I'm looking to build up as well. Things like Stable Fund, I've been compounding continuously. I will do an update video on Stable Fund because the account has been growing 1.5% a day on Matic, Polygon. So I'm really happy with that one. And um, yeah, that's probably one of my favorites at the moment as well. So yeah, I'm due an update on that. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you an update on Splassive and Drip network but for now the price of splash has pulled back a little bit and you know it, it does make it easier for you to accumulate at lower prices right so i think it's about taking advantage yes the price could go lower but at the same time the price could go higher so uh you know you have to kind of figure out what's best for you um it's always good picking up low prices because it's a better price than what it was last week or last month so uh for me i think it makes sense uh, to take advantage of the low prices because the low prices may not be around for much longer. I think we're going to see an altcoin run coming soon. Uh, of course, we need to see a, a little bit of a Bitcoin bounce first. But uh, after that, I expect an altcoin run, you know, coming up towards the end of the year. Okay, guys. But I do expect there to be some sell-offs as well going into the new year. So I think, you know, taking profits along the way is most definitely the sensible thing to be doing. That's why I want to start taking profits from Splassive rolling them over into the drip network and of course you know ultimately securing some profits on the side as well um you know just to be able to buy dips and all that sort of stuff all right guys so quick update video let me know what you think in the comments do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already tick the little bell for notifications if you like the video that helps with the youtube algorithm youtube will then begin to recommend my content to people who may not have seen it otherwise but thanks for tuning in guys and i'll see you in the very next video